I'm fitting the drawer gu guides that guide the side of the drawer that keep it centered in the hole more or less. Um, it's a little tedious and it can be maddening because every scunch of unsquareness compounds and adds up right now. The drawers are probably not perfect. They may be a 64th off. The cabinet may be a 16th off and all this stuff starts adding up. So, But this is how I'm doing it. I know the drawers are roughly 3 16ths short of the end on both sides they're all like that so I can measure and I know the drawer glide if I go back to the frame it's uh, 5 eighths and a 16 plus 3 16 just uh, maybe a little over 7 eighths will get it out 3 16 and then I cut a piece of wood from the back to right here and then I notch it for this little brace that I added and this is what I end up with so if I put this in here and just let it sit and then put the drawer in and if I push the drawer to that side I got a big discrepancy this side's too far out so what I do is take the drawer out I'm going to notch this little edge guide so it can go back that way and then I put this in place and I do the other side and I do the same thing and I just keep fritzing with them until the drawer slides easily it doesn't have to be tight so cut a little notch on the back of this one, put it in place. I did my measurement on that side and ripped it and put the drawer in. And first try. First try, that's good. So when the when the wood is finished and the the um, guides are waxed, this is gonna work. Super slick. So this beautiful board is from a tree I had cut up before we moved into this house. So it has been up in the attic for 17 years. I've used the majority of it up, but I still have this board and one more big board. Um, it's 12 inches wide, an inch and a quarter thick, and 15 feet long. And unfortunately, it's got some knots here. Otherwise, I could make drawer fronts and the top, but I, sh I can get two five-foot pieces. I'm going to glue them together for the top. I'm going to go ahead and cut them and plane them and glue them and clamp them. And while the glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and screw all these guides in permanently and give them a little wax. Um, I'm not going to glue them in. I'm just going to put some screws in them so in the future they can be adjusted if need be. So a couple cut a couple of five foot pieces out of that long board and ran them through the thickness planer and jointed this edge and I have them glued together so we have a top that was easy um, it will take a lot of sand and, and it still needs to be trimmed to length and width but uh, we'll take care of that when the glue sets I'll give it I'll give it a while so I brought in two wider boards from the back this one and this one over here and this one if I cut it here and split it it will be it is big enough to get the top four drawer fronts out of which would be pretty cool getting them all out of one board and the same with the other one if I cut it up correctly I can get these four drawer fronts out of it so that's what I'm working on now um, I got the drawer sanded all the way around took a kind of tedious and I got the drawer glides screwed into place with just a screw on the front and the back and uh, everything's copacetic, it's working good. Okay, got first drawer front ready. It, I got it uh, one eighth of an inch smaller all the way around than the hole. And I got it wedged fairly tightly. And I'm going to screw um, through the door box from the back with these little screws to attach it. And then later on, we'll take the drawer out and I'll put some glue and put it back. So, got to do this uh, all the way up. It's a 
pretty easy. You just have to be real careful on the measurements and not cut them wrong like I did on the first one. But the rest of them I should get it well. And the first one I am re-gluing over here so it'll be all right when we're done. Okay, we have drawers. The drawers are complete almost. Um, they all work good. What I have to do is put a little piece of plastic sticking out because otherwise when you shut the drawer you can't get it open again since I don't have the hardware on. What I need to do right now to stop the drawer front is hitting the drawer glide and it's stopping it well pretty much in the right spot. But what I want is the drawer stop to be on the back end of the drawer because I don't want this acting like a hammer every time you shut the drawer trying to knock the front off of the drawer box. So this works, but it's not a good idea because every time somebody slams the drawer, all the weight of the stuff in the drawer is going to be wanting to pull pull the drawer off the front or the front off the drawer. Um, the top is glued up. I just need to cut it to final size. Fitting the permanent drawer stops, and it's just a little block of wood, and it it's set so the front of the drawer closes flush. And I'm gonna just put a little touch of glue on it. And I'm gonna shoot it with a nail. Try not to shoot my finger. this side they're not exactly the same they're really really close but I, I played with them a while until I got what I wanted so the next thing we're going to do is remove the faces from the drawer box they're just screwed they're not glued and then I'm going to cut this back a little bit because I don't want the face hitting this now that I have a stop in the back and then I'll round it over a little bit so it'll make it easier to stick the drawer in there and get it started Got to do that uh, eight more times. Yeah, I'm uh, reinforcing my face frame um, tenon, mortise and tenon joints that are just kind of small with some uh, mechanical fastenings. Putting a little taper on the legs just for aesthetic reasons. It looks a little nicer with a taper. Here I'm using my least favorite woodworking tool and I'm cutting back the drawer glides to make sure the face frame doesn't touch them when the drawer is all the way closed. Um, this is not a fun tool to use but it will get in places that nothing else will basically and then I knocked off the sharp corners of the drawer glides just to make it a little easier to stick to the drawer in the hole Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you too, Jason. The Chester's drawers is complete, except for sanding and finishing. And putting hardware on, of course. All the drawers work well, and they all stop solidly with no um, stress on the face frame or the front of the drawer. Um, the top is cut to size. It has one coat of varnish on it. So, for the next couple of days, we'll be sanding and varnishing, and I'm going to take the drawer fronts off because I don't want to get varnish on the case, the drawer case, the drawer sides. And I think the easiest thing to do is just take the front off and varnish it and then put them on, put the screws back in, and put some glue on there. So that's what we're going to do. Sanding, sanding, sanding. Everything's sanded to 150 
I'll put a coat of varnish on this and then when I sand down to 220 most of this will be sanded off because this will act like a good sealer get a good smooth finish so my plan was to sand the first coat down with a 220 grit and a random orbital sander but it's six o'clock on Sunday morning and my wife threatened me with uh, making noise so I hand sanded everything and, and it did good I just wanted to knock it the fuzz off and I got coat number two on everything and so the carcass and the top need one more coat of varnish but I'm going to do that after I get them together um, so I'm laying the top down upside down here and I'm going to flip the carcass and put it on top and I have um, We'll cut some notches in the back with my biscuit joiner and we'll fasten the top down with those notches and that will allow it to move and then on these edges I'm going to screw it tight so it'll be uh, the center part will be tight unable to move but the front and the back will be able to shift a little bit because this top will dry some when it's inside and it will shrink a little bit and you can't stop that so you have to make provisions to make sure when it does move um, nothing breaks you want so pre-drilled for the screws and I did a dry run but I want to make sure none of these screws go through the top. But all the links are good so I'm going to take them back out and I'm flip the carcass uh, into position and I'm going to screw it down to the top. So I've got the carcass centered on the top. I've got one inch on the sides and the front and just a little bit on the back. And I'm fixing to drive the first screw and I hope I got my measurements right. You can see when I drove the screw and it pushed the top away from the carcass a little bit and it wouldn't pull it up tight so I just took them back out and put some clamps. I clamped the um, top tight to the carcass and put the screws back in and that took care of that. So my hold down clips that are designed to move, all I did was I have a bunch of corner brackets and I cut them in half right here and I sl slid one end in into the um, notch I cut with the biscuit joiner and a little spacer. On the other end and I pull it down with a screw now it's holding downward but it can slide and that's the key so the center line is not going to move but the front edge and the back edge as time goes on and it dries out in the house it's free to move a little bit without the top splitting and you'll kind of see that on every tabletop that's made out of real wood um, all the new stuff's made out of fake stuff so you won't see that on a new table I'm going to put the drawer fronts back on and I have a mark and I know which way they go. So I'm going to put the screws right back in the same hole. I'm going to use glue. So I'm going to glue it, I put the screws in it, I'm going to run over here and make sure it fits. There's nothing bad happened that I didn't mess up. And if it fits, I'm going to take it out and put clamps on it and it'll be uh, one, it'll be it. It won't come off anymore without doing damage. So yesterday the drawers fronts were glued and screwed to the drawer cases did a test fit and they were good so I've got them all clamped and today I'm going to remove the clamps and put what I hope is the final coat of varnish on everything last coat set out to dry I'm going to leave so I don't make any extra dust my hardware came in and it will take a quarter inch hole to get that in there but the bolts are a little short so I have to countersink for the head because I don't have any longer bolts so instead of drilling a quarter inch hole through the front I drilled a little bitty hole I don't see the bit I drilled a 1 16th inch hole through so that way when I drill the uh, for the recess I have a little small hole that will keep the uh, fostering bits from wobbling all over the place. Somewhere. Well, that one didn't go through. Okay, so I'm going to recess all of them. I use blue tape to put the marks because it's so hard to see a mark on the varnished pecan. 
and I put the hardware on and it's ready to go upstairs and take my, my temporary drill pulls off. So the little 1 16th inch hole keeps the fastener bit in the right spot and the depth is important because there's only like a quarter of an inch of thread in the hardware so I'm uh, paying, paying particular attention to get the depth right and then after I did all those I drilled all the quarter inch holes pulled off all the blue tape and they're ready for hardware and then comes the fun part putting the hardware on it went in really well all of the counter bores were just the right depth I didn't have to add washers or cut bolts or anything and got them all on got them tightened up and was able to then remove my temporary Danon yogurt Danon yogurt cup um, make do pulls and we're calling it finished okay looking good time to dust it off and start carrying the drawers inside the top has a pretty good layer of dust on it too So once again, I've finished a piece of furniture and it is not perfect. But, you know, perfect is a word that keeps a lot of guys on the sofa. And I'll just keep on trying and maybe next time my piece of work will be perfect. Or maybe not. But I'm pretty happy with this. So thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed my muddling through.